I'm going to go on to my next thing because I'm noticing that time's running away. So um, from there, I had a big break from um, due to illness. And then when I started working again, I teamed up with Tamer. So Tamer was one of the people that was heavily involved in Danza. So that was one of the really um, positive things that came from that event. Tamer had just moved to Hull. And um, yeah, and so we got to know each other through that. And then following my illness, we became really close friends and then formed our company. And then we started working with this idea of being covered up, which was partly born of my fear of performing because after being ill for a long time, I didn't really want to go out and be seen and felt quite vulnerable. So it was, um, we started with this idea of being unseen and we were looking at what that means to different people and what it means for uh, different groups of people and in different contexts. And then that, that sort of developed into this idea that we worked with about being um, being women. And we were looking at our own experiences of being unseen or being seen as something that's not individual to us, that's maybe we're assumed that we're a certain thing because we're women or were expected to be a certain thing. So we were looking at the, we we eventually started looking specifically at the way that women are portrayed in the arts. Um, yeah, mainly the arts. And then we decided on these three different themes. So we created a piece called Stunners and it's made of three different sections. And um, one of the sections is inspired by backing dancers. So all quite, typically um female things backing dancers or like female singers um um another one was inspired by neoclassical sculptures and porn so it had a bit of a juxtaposition of those two different things um and the other one is inspired by modeling so we've got three so it's got three different sections and um, it started off that we just were covered. We just had this real basic covering. And then we, uh, we've we been really, really fortunate to be having mentoring from uh, Lee Anderson, who, if you don't know, she's a really, really, really established choreographer and has been for decades in this country. And um, we we're given a lot of advice from her around you, the use of costume and how working with a costume designer would just lift the work. So then both already been interested in collaboration anyway, from partly from our bits of collaboration with Anna Bean and just doing other, other bits and bobs. We decided that we would um, make, put a call out for a costume designer. So this um, process was really, really beneficial. And we, we got a really good response to the call out. Um, we then narrowed it down to three. We shortlisted three designers. And we first, we were unsure about how we were going to choose between the three because they were all so amazing. And it was really, really difficult to see how, how they might work with us. And we could see their portfolio, but we couldn't see how they responded to what we needed. So we decided to pay... Um, the three shortlisted artists for a half a day's work to create an initial response to our brief. And that turned out to be an amazing process for us because we were able to get a real sense of how each of them worked and we were able to chat to them a little bit more. We got some incredible mood boards sent to us. I should have put a mood board on actually, so I've just thought of that now, but um, I've got a, a clip of the video of the, the three pieces that we ended up with. And if you'd seen what we started with and the journey that we went on, the the costumes that we've got at the end are amazing. And I think two of them, one of them was really specifically what we imagined or very close to what we imagined, the sort of lacy, pawn, statuesque kind of costumes. The modelling ones, which is the red one with the big boob and the big hip, I don't think we really knew what we were expecting from that one. But the third one, the, the one with the really colourful tassels, we really had no idea that it was going to end up like it did. And we actually ended up having to re-choreograph the piece and still are in the process of re-choreographing the piece 
based around the costume because we did a bit of an exchange going backwards and forwards talking about um that the designers ideas and our ideas and we just bounced we, it was quite difficult because she lived in London well it wasn't difficult but we'd go down to London or she'd come up to Hull or we'd just do Skype chats or whatever and we'd share our ideas in that way so it was a real exchange of ideas um, but she was just amazing and she just took it off some sort of in her own direction to a degree so I'll show you the clip of what we came up with So you can see from the first video that I showed, the quality of the work is quite um, improved by this last one. And we were we were really fortunate. And I think our work's been really shaped actually by, by being in Hull because not only were we inspired by the, the artist around us and having a small dance scene, we ended up reaching out to to those artists around us. And there's a really strong um, arts community in Hull. So not only were we inspired by that, but then there was also things that we did with Hull Dance, like the, well, we met Lee Anderson through Hull Dance. And it was through that relationship forming that we then went on to have mentoring with her. Um, and that mentoring really led to the development of the of our work with costume, our collaboration costume and really shaped our work. So I feel like it's been a real whole kind of process. Um, and we we feed off the, the scene around us. So we see our work fitting into not necessarily just dance events, but into different kinds of performance events and live art events. And, um, and we performed at the after party of the, um, a conference at Humber Street Gallery. So it's work that can kind of pop up in places. Um, but yeah, it doesn't fit into the normal dance box. And I think that's definitely been something that's come from, well, from my background of being involved with New Work Yorkshire right from after graduating to um, meeting Anna Bean and being inspired by that. And then the things that we've explored with uh, the, the CPD and the opportunities that we've had with whole dance. Um, but then, yeah, tapping into the rest of the art scene and especially that was sort of solidified through Danza collaborations in 2014. So it's been a bit of a melting pot of lots of different things coming together. And then obviously meeting Tamer and working with Tamer, we both have that um, interest in stuff that's quite different. And um, I feel like it's gone from me starting making work and trying to do all these things myself, like trying to pull some wacky props in and um, make some weird sound recordings and stuff to actually doing that professionally and finding that if you collaborate with other people, you can really strengthen that because everybody's got their own different skills. And since being in Hull, we've done stuff with musicians, filmmakers, costume designers, visual artists. So it's, it's um, I've really seen the benefits of working with different people. Oh, and spoken word artists as well, not to forget about Michelle D that we've done quite a lot of stuff with. Um, so yeah, it's been a bit of a, a bit of a journey really and lots of different things have fed into it. So I'm happy to, if anybody's got any questions or anything, I'm happy to, to have a chat. Is it, I think there's something in here. Oh, hello, Becky. Hello, darling. Hello. Is there any genre that you've not collaborated with yet that you'd really like to have a go with? Hmm. Um, I've not really collaborated with um, with theatre. 
And I think, although I've worked with theatre as in, I've, I've done directing for theatre performances with the Roaring Girls, but I've never actually, um, I've never actually worked cross art form with theatre. And I think that might be something really interesting because when, when we had the, um, during 2017, we had the, um, oh, what was it called? That the, that big theatre convention thing. The, it, Europe, European... IETM. IETM, which was the International Theatre... Anyway, it's the big thing. <laughs> it's a big gathering. And, um, and the performances that I saw there... Theater, all theatre performances, all very, all very much not dance theatre, which you quite often see, but actual theatre. And some of the dance that was in them was better than the dance that I've seen in dance performances and just the way it was slotted in. And I think it's quite exciting at the minute to see how dance is moving more towards different art forms, but other art forms are doing the same. So when I've seen how, how, um, how that's been used that's really interesting so that would be something that I'd be interested in looking further into and the, the companies it was Lee Anderson with Scotty so if you um yeah if you follow fat blokes. yeah fat, fat blokes a piece called fat blokes and it was just brilliant so yeah that was really that really inspired me to want to collaborate with theatre